Hi everyone! If you follow the channel, then you know I've been caring for a litter of baby garter snakes. They're the children of my adult pair of eastern garter snakes, Daryl and Carol. They're about four months old now, and so far I've been keeping them in my office with a very simple nursery setup. I'm not going to focus on the losses we've had with this litter. If you want to know more about that, I'll put a link in the corner to that previous video. But today I'm going to move this group of babies into the reptile room where they can enjoy a more substantial and naturalistic setup. I put a heat mat with the thermostat on this 20 gallon tank and spent some time checking and adjusting the temperature. It covers about a third of the enclosure. I'm aiming for a warm side temperature of 85 degrees and I'll be adding a heat lamp to create a smaller, just slightly warmer basking spot. I put a piece of wood to create a barrier next to the heat mat. This will allow me to keep a shallower layer of substrate over the heat mat and build up a deeper layer as it moves over to the cool end of the temperature gradient. This way the substrate doesn't completely block the heat coming from the heat mat. I don't want any babies getting stuck between this wood and the walls of the enclosure, so I stuffed some sphagnum moss in those gaps. For now, they're still pretty small, and I want to be able to monitor them pretty closely, so I'm not putting in any plants just bioactive substrate with some leaf litter and lots of hides. They have their water bowl and I put in this piece of mopai wood which I think they'll enjoy exploring and climbing around on. I've made sure that there's lots of cover and places to hide throughout the entire enclosure. And I used hides that can easily be removed when I need to feed them or spot clean the enclosure. For now, I'm focusing less on aesthetics and more on function with this enclosure. Although, I think it turned out looking not too bad. It sure is an improvement over the paper towel substrate. Plus, now they have some moisture retaining substrate, so I can ditch their humid hides. I think it's ready, so let's go get the snakes. Now, just so you know, with the vast majority of reptiles, it's not a good idea to cohabitate them in the same enclosure together. But garter snakes are one of the few species that can be. And it's not just that they tolerate being cohabitated, but they actually thrive better when kept in pairs in small groups. It's a hard thing to think about without anthropomorphizing them, but they do become bonded together in a social group. They curl up and sleep together. They're very tactile with each other. And I've even noticed that they move around together to different spots in the enclosure to thermoregulate their body temperatures. I didn't show them all, but I did put seven babies in here. This little one is one of the most social of the group, and he actually didn't want to leave the warmth and safety of my hands. This is going to be a somewhat temporary home for them. They'll be living in here for several months until they grow a bit larger and can be safely housed with their parents. So there will be plenty of updates on them in the future. Snakes are so naturally curious and inquisitive, and there's so much in this enclosure that's new to them. So for now, I'll just leave you with some footage of these adorable babies exploring their new home.